Wow, Metal Mouth Media here with Ancients. And let me compliment you on your sound. It is refreshing. Like I listen to you guys and it's different. And also your songs are very long. And I find a lot of times when I listen to like bands that do stuff like that, I'm like, oh, after five minutes, like it's repetitive and stuff. But you guys, it's like, I'm just going on a journey and I don't want it to end. It's like, it's beautiful. And your sound is so original. Like, did you guys like really work on uh, the sound or it just came naturally like it just comes out how it did really we're just trying to write tunes that we enjoy playing right so that's first and foremost how she rolls man yeah uh, it's, it, it's awesome and uh, your your writing process do you guys like uh sit down and say okay we're gonna spend six months writing an album or you just like write throughout the year and after three years you just put everything together and yeah it's basically just a bunch of different ideas compiled and we basically just bring them into the jam room and kind of go from there so it's just sort of jigsaw puzzling sort of thing right yeah uh also your new album the artwork is amazing who did that um our good friend allison lily she also did heart of oak and she's yeah she is really amazing so is she a canadian artist she is yeah yeah she's from vancouver she's actually doing tattoos almost full time now so yeah she's uh brilliant at what she does and we're always you know have faith in what she shows us is going to be amazing. So yeah. <laughs> I was mind blown. It, it, it's amazing. Um, and also like uh, in this day and age, everybody does everything themselves lately. Like bands record themselves, they tour, they do everything. And I noticed you guys have a record label. I don't know much about the music industry when it comes to label. What yeah. does a label bring to the table? Well, they bring distribution worldwide, right? Um, basically they, give us cash to record a record with and you know press albums and stuff so and obviously they get press and stuff out there for us right so they're saving us a lot of work that you know people with day jobs find hard to do <laughs> and i noticed i noticed on facebook you guys posted you guys visited a, a drumstick factory yeah um Los Cabos Drumsticks. Uh, Where's that located? It's in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Oh, didn't even know that. Yeah, it was super cool. We, they just contacted us and asked if we'd like to come check out the shop. Um, super cool place, super cool people. And they gave Mikey some sticks to try out. So you, know, you never know, he might be switching, switching up yeah. to a Canadian company, which is cool, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And speaking of visiting places, you guys travel a lot. Do you guys take time to visit places like in we do, cities? We do our best. Um, it all really depends on the time frame or how much everyone partied the night before, <laughs> right? Um, but basically, yeah, we, we try and see as many sites as possible, but, you know, sometimes it's not in the cards. Sometimes it is, right? No, so you guys are almost at the end of your big Cross Canada tour. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans after this? Um, well, I'm probably going to go sleep for a week. Um, yeah, well deserved. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, we're just going to start focusing on uh, working on some new tunes for our next record. Um, and basically just planning some things for the spring. Um, try and avoid touring in the winter. Yeah. If possible, if something amazing comes along, we'll probably go. But... You know, we're gonna shoot shoot for the spring. Do you guys have any uh, music videos or anything in the works that we should know about or anything? No, not really. No, we, we're not like our songs are almost too long for the video thing. So, yeah. Um, Speaking of long songs, like on uh, how many songs can you play live usually? Because they're so long. Obviously, mm, like six songs, like an hour. Yeah, well, well, I think we're playing around eight or nine. I think oh, right. So, yeah. Um, you know they're not all 10 minutes but they're they're all pushing probably seven or so so yeah, yeah. yeah we'd cram as many in as possible as many as people want to hear <laughs> and uh do you have like a, i noticed like your last album was like uh, there was three years in between yeah uh, are we expecting three years for the next one or hopefully not um we had some us fans are needy yeah we had some internal family issues last time which kind of offset the record for about a year so basically we're just gonna start hammering stuff out now I'm almost certain we should have a good chunk of the record done by the end of this year oh, so nice. hoping to record next year if, if all goes as planned and I'm so happy you guys have vinyl cuz yeah. uh, I was born in the early 70s and when I grew up there was just vinyls yeah and 
it was a special time where you could actually sit and enjoy a record because yeah. you put an iPod in my hand, I find I'm very ADD, I'm skipping all over the place and I don't get to enjoy the album the way it's supposed to. Totally, yeah. And I love sitting down with the big art and looking yeah. at everything. And makes a big difference, right? Yeah. It makes it... So I, I saw the vinyl on the table, I was like, yes! <laughs> yeah, man. Um, we can thank the label for that too, right? <laughs> yeah. You guys have different colored vinyl? Or? Yeah, we got a couple of different limited vinyls in there tonight, oh. so Perfect. yeah. Yeah, man. Well, thanks a lot for take, taking the time to talk to us, and yes, uh, we'll see, see you later on stage. Sounds this great, is Metal Mouth Media with Ancients. Yeah!